Holy shit. All right, this is seriously the most crazy red light therapy panel I've ever tested in my life. Hey guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com and today I've got another red light panel that I'm going to unbox and share my first impressions with. Now this panel is the Light Path LED Multi-Wave Pulsed Panel. Okay, uh, as you can see it's still in the box here. I haven't opened it up but I have spent a bit of time on their website and um, got some of the key features and whatnot about this panel. That little research, that little uh, background uh, research I've done has gotten me really excited because there's some neat stuff in this panel. Not only in the panel itself in terms of technology and features, but also the way this company operates. So what should you know about the Light Path LED company? Well, it's formed by a guy named Scott Kennedy. Now, he's a laser and light specialist, and uh, he's been in the biohacking space for many years, helping clients, friends, family. Um, and has taken a pretty deep dive into the whole red light therapy space, which is awesome. This panel, it is very different though. It's not just your regular 660, 850 panel that's come straight from the, the shop in, or the production line in, in China and looks just like every other panel. This panel has had some neat engineering going into it. Let me rattle off a few key features before I do open it up because it is worth knowing. So firstly, these panels use 5 watt LEDs. Now, most of the panels out there on the market today use 3 watt LEDs. It is a little bit of a controversial topic. Uh, some people think that 5 watts is overrated. Other people even question that some of these panels actually have 5 watt LEDs in it. Uh, but Scott has come out and said, look, these panels have 5 watt LEDs, but they're only drawing about 2.5 or 2.1 watts, I think. Um, but to put that in perspective, he says, that the average panel with a 3 watt LED is only using 1 to 2 watts anyway. So by his uh, logic or his reasoning, this should be a high powered panel. It will be testing that in the full review, so be sure to subscribe for that. The other things to mention are the LEDs in here use dual chip LEDs, which means there's two diodes in each LED bulb effectively. That means those LEDs can produce multiple wavelengths, so it can do a 660 red light therapy um, wavelength and also an 850 near infrared. Um, wavelength instead of having dedicated bulb bulbs for each wavelength so that is interesting again there's a little bit of controversy around these dual chips people say they're not quite as powerful when there's other issues and stuff uh something that i'm going to look at further and i'll be shit uh, i'll be sure to share my findings on this channel if you have been following my videos and if you know a little bit about red light therapy you may have seen that juve have released their juve go 2.0 and that also uses pulse therapy light when I did my first impressions unboxing with that video, I said straight up, hey look, it's something that's new, I don't know much about it. Since then, I have done some digging, and again, it's a very uh, very controversial topic. Some people say it's amazing, obviously the companies producing these panels um, say it's awesome, there's all these benefits. Ju, for instance, use a 10 hertz pulsing um, technology, so the, the wave is pulsed 10 times a second. Uh, and they say it's, it helps with recovery and that's why on their units you can hit recovery mode and um, you'll get the pulsed light. Light path LED with their multi-wave pulsed light, they actually use, I believe it's seven different pulsing frequencies and if you look at Juve's 10 hertz way down here on one end of the spectrum, these guys go right up to, I think it's like 5,000 hertz. I think they start with their base level or the, the low level at 70 odd hertz and it goes right up to 4,900 or thereabouts. So what's so special about all these frequencies? Well, these frequencies were identified by a French doctor named Dr. Paul Nogier. But he found that these frequencies uh, the body resonated with these frequencies and in turn the body healed a lot faster and it wasn't just like tissue healing from injury it was all sorts of things like um, anxiety you know mental health all sorts of things so what Scott has done and the guys at light path LED they have incorporated these uh, frequencies into the red light panel meaning yes you're getting the benefit from the red light and the near infrared and the, and the various wavelengths he's got there but you're also able to tap into these frequencies this is what I call a body panel. Uh, it comes in at about 216 LEDs um, with five wavelengths. We've got two wavelengths in the red light therapy range, 620 and 660, and then we've got three in the near infrared, 810, 850, and 930, I believe it is. The 930 is interesting because we have seen with panels like the Platinum LED Biomax and the Mito Red Company, uh, their top products, they all have multiple wavelengths and I, I think that's a good thing because there is a lot of research on some of these other wavelengths outside of the 660 and the 850 um, but I believe light LED 
I believe, I'll have to go back and double check, I believe they're the first company to use a wavelength in the 900 range, uh, 930 nanometers these guys use. So that is interesting. I can't, off the top of my head, I can't remember what the science is around that wavelength, but I'm sure there must be something for them to be utilizing in this panel. They do offer this panel without the pulse technology and also without the multi-wave, and I think you just get the 660 and 850 standard. Obviously, it's a little bit cheaper. Um, but hey, where's the fun in, in looking at that those units? Because like, like I've done on this channel, I've, I've looked at those 660, 850 pretty standard panels over and over many times. So I'm very, very excited by this. And I know that was a very long spiel, but um, as you can tell, there, there's a lot of neat things that I need, need to cover. And there's even more. But for now, what I'm going to do is open this up and um, turn it on, have a look at it see how it works with uh with all these multiple frequencies functions built in i was told that it's a little bit confusing at first and um he, uh, scott has sent me a few little uh, pamphlets and instruction booklets to help me get my head around things but anyway There it is. It's a silver pa uh, silver panel. I haven't. I don't think we've seen a silver one before. It's a metal case. It's a lot lighter than the panels we typically see for the metal casing. Four fans on the back. Um, but let's look at the front first. So, 216 LEDs. They're split over three different sections, and you've got the timer and the buttons on the front. Well, I haven't seen that before. It's quite neat. Um, looks like it's just sort of touch buttons, touch screen buttons. Uh, on the side you have the branding etching on the side here, light path LED. On the back we have the plugs, the main power point. So this is actually saying uh, there's 255 LEDs in here. So pretty sure on the website it had 216. So uh, I should double check that, maybe there's a mistake. Yeah, there's 255 LEDs. Okay, so sorry for the confusion before where I said 216. Um, that was taken from the website. So anyway, um, yeah, quite a wide design, not quite as tall as some other panels, uh, but I, I like the width. It does have, have the modular capability up top, so you could get a second one and um, you'd have a full head to toe coverage area, which is good. Uh, you've got the rubber feet on the back here, not quite as thick as, as other models I'd seen. Like I said, four, panel, uh, four fans, um, and yeah, that's really about it. The obviously, uh, the, the unique thing, other than the color and the design, so there's quite a few unique things going for this, is this control panel up top. So it's going to be interesting once we plug that in and uh, see how that works. So what came in the box? Uh, we have the instruction manual. You've got a whole section on Paul Nogier and all the different frequencies and what they do for the body. So frequency A, for instance, uh, resonates with the outermost tissue, skin, ears, glands, teeth, cystine, wound healing, nerve, re ner nerve repair, inflammation. Um, we've got nutritional metabolism, movement, emotional, nerves. So you've got a different frequency for different symptoms, different parts of the body. That's interesting. Uh, you've got some more information on the Nogier frequencies. To be honest, usually I don't spend too much time looking at these because it's pretty standard stuff and I've been in this space for a long time I'm, I'm kind of used to it but I think uh, with all the technology and um, the different button system and everything like that I think this is something that you would want to spend a bit of time on we've got some eyeglasses which are a little bit different to the usual eyeglasses that we see these are a little bit softer, not the hard plastic, which is quite nice. They come in the same little um, carry case though. Still not as good as the Juve ones. I haven't seen anything as good as the Juve ones, which with the green lens uh, allowed you to still to see things while protecting your eyes from the red and the near infrared. We have a power cable, which came in my local plug type, which is great. Um, a little pulley system here, which is standard for panels these days. Um, and we've got the metal clips for the top for connecting up to the pulley system. These actually have a black wire, or maybe it's just a black coating on the wire, which I haven't seen before. So again, lots of interesting things here. The goggles are different, the panel's different, you know, quite unique things. Uh, and we also have, <laughs> we also have this. 
which is a door hanging hook. So again, the idea you put this over the door and you can hang the panel using the pulley and, and all those cables. Now what's interesting is it's black instead of metal. Again, lots of little things that are different. What is frustrating though is how narrow it is. Uh, there's no way that will get over my door. And we have this. A little remote. I forgot to mention, this particular unit sells for $1,174. Discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, will save you 5% on this panel. And like I said before, you can get a cheaper version in this size, you just miss out on the pulsing and the multi-wavelength. Personally, uh, I like the multi-wavelength, so I think you know it is worth spending extra for that. With the whole pulsing thing, there is some research showing, showing that it may not be that effective. There's also a school of thought saying, yeah, okay, pulsing technology on certain tissues, certain um, spot treatments with particular lasers and particular lights works, but does it work when it's on a panel uh, with, you know, red light and all that? Um, again, it's, it's, it's still a new topic and I don't know too much about it. Okay, so before I tried to turn it on just by hitting power and nothing happened, but as you notice that time I pressed it twice and the lights came on. So, I don't quite know how the buttons work. You'd expect power just, I don't, like I don't know how to turn that off now. Um, maybe I'll hold it down. Oh, there we go, hold it down. Hold it. <laughs> okay, this is so confusing. All right, press it once firmly and it turns it on. And the near infrared lights are going, red light is in, this must be the frequency. Okay, got it. Personally, I hate buttons. Oh man. With no feedback, with no tactile feedback. It's like the uh, electric hobs, you know, that you see like this and you, oh God, I hate it. I will never, if I even bought a house that had one in, I'd be taking it out. I need like physical dials and that. And just, you're pushing and you don't know if it's working or not. Uh, so anyway, so we got that going. To turn it off completely, I hold that down. There's a main master power switch at the back as well that will cut the power. Um, to turn it on, press it firmly, and it goes straight into it. Okay, so the infrared light is on. If I press mode, oh, that's changing over here. Okay, we don't want to press mode. Let's just leave mode. How do I get the red light on? Red light. Oh, there we go, red light. But now, the infrared isn't going. So how do I get the infrared on? Okay, so I can choose between the infrared or red light. But maybe it doesn't do both. Hey, this is really confusing because if that dual chip LEDs, what he might have done here is for the red LED chips, they're using the 660 and the 620, right? In both wavelengths. For the near infrared wavelength lights, you must be getting multiple or two near infrared lights. I'm gonna have to find all this out before I do the full review. This is why I do a first impressions unboxing so you can just see what it's like when you get one of these panels, if you were to get one of these panels and you plug it in and you know, this is what we go through. Later on, I use this for a couple of weeks. I get to know what works, what does in, you know, my feedback on it. I do all the testing, EMF, uh, power and all of that. And then um, I'll do a full review. So these are fun unboxing reviews for you and I. Um, but if you're super serious, hang around, be sure to subscribe and we'll do the full review soon. So I'm gonna keep using this, which is, Kind of weird because it would just be easier having everything on here. Um, and we'll see what other things we can do. So I'm going to hit power. Power comes on. I'm assuming that's a timer and it must time count up. If I hit time, all right, we can change 10. To, we can go up to 30 minutes, which is cool. Um, there's no start. So how do I start it? Do I just let it start automatically? Let's just hit power. Oh, there we go. Okay. So power start as well. Um, all right, so that's good. I don't know if you can see this in the screen here, but there is a slight difference between these two chips here. Uh, I'm assuming one's 660, the other's 610, 620. Uh, all right, and now we're gonna turn that off again. And now we're gonna play around with this frequency. Mode. Mode, oh, jeez. Frequency 10, 40. Oh, these are all the hertz. Oh, wow, so you can go down to as low as 10 hertz, 2.5 hertz. We should be able to see that. Okay, how do we start it? Yeah, we can. Look at that. Okay, let's turn the red light. Okay, that's, I don't like that. 
stop frequency 10 let's try 10 oh far out that's worse okay let's turn that off yeah okay the user interface on this is insane it's actually uh driving me nuts i'm sure you'll get used to it but for for just out of the box user friendliness it's it's crazy all right let's put it up to 40 have we tried that and then i'm gonna start 40. holy <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Wow. Frequency 73. So this was, I believe this was the first. Maybe it wasn't. I remember seeing 73. Let's just try 73 real quick. Because this is kind of crazy. Oh, that's running. Oh, I can see a pulsing there. So that's 73 times a second. That's weird, holy. Okay, let's just try one more, one more. So we'll go up to frequency A, 294. All right, we'll try this one. Start. It's weird, every frequency has a different sound to it, like you can it's, you might not be able to pick it up in here, but it's quite noticeable. The other thing I've noticed, my arm right now is 30, 40 centimeters back from the panel. There's a fair amount of heat coming off this. It's only when you turn it on, like instantly. It's like you go outside on a hot day. Um, so that's near infrared. Yeah, crazy. All right, and we'll do one more, and we'll go right up to the top frequency. 400 and, 4,000 and... 4,698, okay, so I, I shouldn't be able to see this. That's insane, like that's that's very quick. All right, that's running. The weird thing is, for me to get the red light, so that's running, and near infrared. For me to get the red light, the only way I can figure out how to do that is to pull this up and press that. There we go. So there's no, I can't sense any flicker or anything or pulse in there. Um, yeah, crazy. Let's take a look at this. I don't quite know what to say. I mean, this is, it's so different to what I'm used to. Uh, yeah, I mean, potentially it could be an absolute gen game changer. If those Nogier frequencies do what they're meant to do and that really insane pulsing um, doesn't trigger an uh, epileptic episode in you, then yeah, I mean, game changing for the industry and red light therapy, uh, but also game changing for someone's life and health. So that's something I'm gonna be testing um, on a longer term basis and I'll, I'll share my findings in the full review. Obviously just, five seconds of using that. I'm not expecting to, to know if it works or not. Uh, I am gonna be curious to see what power this is throwing out, especially with the five watt LEDs, because like I said, I, you know, I was standing, I don't know, a foot or so away from it, or just my arm was, sorry, my exposed arm, and when I turned it on, like, you felt this heat, which is, usually you feel after a minute or two, uh, but that was instant, so that's cool. That control panel was ridiculous. I mean, that was just super frustrating. So I'm gonna be curious to see what the, new control panel looks like. Hopefully it's improved off that because that's insane. I, I actually didn't know how to get the red light going. I, I had to use this, which is fine, but you'd expect to be able to do everything on there. Um, and I can kind of see now why I was sent uh, some recommendations for getting started, instructions, and I thought, hey, I won't need to read these, and I hadn't. And you can see why it's important to read instructions, right? Because that was very, very confusing. Um, 
Again, I'm sure I'd get used to it and it would be super easy to use, but it's just like, yeah. That's why I do these first impressions videos. So I can show you without any prior experience or anything, just what happens, how it works, how it looks, um, what I like and what I don't like. Later on is when I do all the cool testing and, and all of that and, and give you my true experiences and, and thoughts and feelings and what could be improved and what could be done better. This is just raw, like off the cuff, let's go. No script, not that I ever use scripts. So just quickly skimming through the instructions he did send me. It says in here like treatment time should be limited for some of these frequencies to 30 seconds or only one or two minutes. To be honest, with that pulsing that we saw before, there's no way I could stand next to that for 20 minutes. I think I'd go nuts like if, if I didn't have a seizure myself. Before I wrap it up, um, I should mention one other thing. Well, two other things. These guys have a three year warranty, which is neat because a lot of panels only have two, though we are starting to see three and even five years come out in the red light therapy space. So that's good. Uh, secondly, they have a very neat, or oh, there's two neat things I should mention. Firstly, anyone that buys one of these panels, Scott will personally call you for a 20 minute consult, free of charge. And obviously you've already purchased the product, so it's not a sales call or anything like that. It's literally a follow up after sales support call. I thought that, you know, what would you talk about for 20 minutes? Like, okay, use it for this duration, you know, um, a couple times a week. But now with all these frequencies in here and all these different settings, I can see the power behind that call, especially if you're speaking to someone who does know how all this stuff works. So that's kind of cool. That's included in the price. I mean, that's 20 minutes um, that, you know, you could pay a hundred bucks for for a 20 minute call like that. So that is neat. I don't know if that's going to be around forever though, or if that's just a limited time only sort of thing. So, uh, you know, if you're watching this in the, in the future, um, if you're watching this and it's 2022 or something like that, maybe check with Lightpath LED if that's still included. Uh, finally, they, and I really like this, Lightpath LED offer a trade up feature. So they do smaller panels, they do a little tabletop stand um, and they do base models of this larger stand. So uh, like I said, ones with only two wavelengths and without the pulsing. But the idea is if you get the smaller ones or the, the lower cost ones and you decide, hey, I actually want to get the bigger one or I've tried this now and it works really good, but I want to get the pulsing or something like that, you can send it back to them and they'll buy it off you, I believe it is, or pay a, you'll pay a difference and then they'll send you out the bigger one, which is kind of cool. And um, it's a way for someone to test the waters into the red light therapy space. You know, you get the base model, the smallest one you can afford, try it for a while. If you like it, then you trade up. Uh, and it, it is called their trade up. In the meantime, if you do want to go get one of these, head over to Lightpath LED. Use discount code Alex, A L E X. It will save you a few dollars. And uh, be sure to check out my other videos. Hit subscribe, say hi, leave your comments. If you have used this before, I, I'm curious to know how you've found it. If you know much more about the Nogier pulsing or frequencies, again, um, send some articles or science papers or videos because, uh, yeah, it's fascinating. Hey, so it's been about a week since I did my first unboxing video for the Light Path panel. And in that week, I've used this panel a few times now, and I have picked up on a few things that um, uh, made me want to do this video, okay, as a, as a little add-on, because maybe I was a little bit unfair with some of the criticisms I had when I was first playing around with this panel, because I sh really should read the, pa uh, the instruction manual before having to go at some of these more advanced, uh, technically complex panels. So some of the things I couldn't figure out when I was playing around with the, the control panel, uh, if I'd read this, even taken like two minutes to read this, uh, things would have been made a lot more sense. So I can now control everything with this on-screen panel. I don't need the remote, which is good because I know previous, previously I said you need the remote. Uh, to start the unit, you actually just get everything set up, you know, your mode, time, frequencies, etc. And then you just leave it, and after about five seconds, it kicks in automatically. So that's good. Um, another thing I wanted to say is the frequency. So on here, there are preset frequencies, but you can actually customize it. So you can go as low as one hertz right up to 9,999, which is insane. So for instance, if you know if you want to expose your body to a certain frequency, you can do that on here as well, which is which is really neat. I didn't say that before because I wasn't aware of it because I hadn't read this. Um, that noise up top still uh, is still there, so I just switch it off at the back now when I'm when I'm not using it, which is what you're meant to do based on this. And they also the manual also recommends that you use those eye goggles uh, when using frequency mode because you know otherwise it's just too intense as you guys 
seen when I um when I turned it on for the first time. So again, uh, yeah, I just wanted to add this on because um, I probably should have done that before diving straight in. But hey, it was an um, uh, well, it is an unboxing and first impressions video, and those were my first impressions. Uh, so far, I know you're probably wondering how do how do I find the unit. Well, like I said, I'm going to be doing a full review. I don't think it's fair to to share my thoughts on a panel. Um, such as a complex panel such as this after a couple of sessions um, and I'm still learning about those Nogier frequencies as well but so far I mean there's nothing radically different but hey it's very early days so be sure to subscribe like this video and leave any questions or comments below I'll do my best to answer them and uh, I will get a full review out on this panel in the coming weeks